transfer object oriented programming language object oriented programming language so here oops are building box for any programming any programming so here what are the oops principles Encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, polymorphism. So today we'll discuss encapsulation. So here, binding variables and methods into single unit is called as encapsulation is called as encapsulation so one more definition wrapping of variables and associated methods into single unit unit is called as encapsulation so here class or poso class class or poso class is example for encapsulation encapsulation so main motto for encapsulation encapsulation motto to achieve security how to achieve the security now we can achieve security by declaring variables as private so here whenever we will define variables as private then private variables can't access outside the class so this is this is the encapsulation we'll see one example whatever the general in the java we can't define the variables outside the class suppose we will define the variables outside the class so jvm get confused that variables belongs to which class so we don't know if we don't know then unable to allocate the memory to that uh, variables similarly we can't define the methods outside the class why because in order to execute variables or methods memory should allocated by the jvm suppose memory not at all allocated then variables and methods should not executed that's why so in java we should write variables and methods inside the class that is the example for encapsulation inside the encapsulation so we will general example for encapsulation motto is to achieve the security so to achieve the security you will define the variables as private so observe here meanwhile i note down here class customer now here customer number in customer name these are the instance variables so whenever we'll define instance variables like this outside the method outside the sorry outside the class means in another class generally execution start from main method string ox so here you can create an object customer c is equal to new customer and here you can perform the modification c c and o is equal to 100 c c name equal to some game so here this is another class 
this is another this is one more class so here in main class we are trying to access a class variables and perform the modification which is illegal to restrict this accessing simply we will define class variables as private whenever we will define class variables as private outside we can't access like this always we will access these variables through methods only now here we will define simply one method public wide this method inside the method you will try to display some response to end user like cno cname now here we call disp now here these two are the instance variables support developer forget to initialize instance variables then jvm will assign default values for integer 0 string null character single space boolean false like this now whenever here through public method through method only we will access the class variables but don't don't allow one class variables direct allow in another class to restrict that one you should declare the class variables as private this is encapsulation now how to initialize you know constructor so can i explain again constructor or not required guys you can explain. Okay, I'm, sorry again just to give an overview can i can i repeat again constructor Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Minute. Before this, I will discuss constructor. Again, I'm coming to here. Constructor. So just over you, I will explain. I will discuss this one. Constructor. So here, constructor purposes is used to initialize the class instance variables to initialize class instance variables we will use constructor so here constructor name and class name should be same and third point constructor should not return value even wide also and even wide also now constructor as a developer no need to call constructor so here constructor get executed automatically at the time of object creation so at the time of object creation constructor get executed sorry executed automatically and here constructor divided into two types divided into two types so guys today i will go through notepad only my system is very slow is it okay all of you okay sir hello yeah so parameterized constructor yeah so here default constructor a constructor without arguments is called as default constructor so default constructor purpose is to assign default values to class instance variables now parameter constructor the constructor with arguments is called as parameterized constructor 
parametric constructor. So parametric constructor purpose is to assign specific values. Now observe here my class name. What is the class name here, guys? What is the class name? What is the class name? Hello? Employee. Employee. Is there any constructor available? No. no. Is there any constructor? Here, suppose there is no constructor exist in your class, then compiler will provide default constructor. Observe here, I will show you. One minute. Huh? I will type on command whether that is executed or not. We'll see. Yeah, super. Now observe. Just I will show you. Again, I will wait. No open notepad. Class. Class name. What is the class name? What is the class Employee. name? EMP. Employee. So, is there any variables and any methods or any constructor available? No. Right. no. Observe here. Observe. Suppose there is no constructor in our program. What will happen? Observe. EMP.java All files Now CMD CD space CD space G was one minute. I will go to there directly. Here type CMD. Ah, now first compile how to compile Java C EMP dot Java. So your dot Java program is converted into a class file. Now just observe Java P nothing but Java profile space your dot class file name. Observe here. Oh what is this? One line is there EMP parenthesis. What is this? Class name and this name both are same. Yeah, and default this is default constructor. Now you are clear, guys. Suppose your program, suppose your program does not contain any constructor, then who will provide the compiler? Compiler. Who will provide the compiler? Um, compiler will provide the sorry, uh, compiler will provide the default constructor. Default constructor purpose is to initialize instance variables. Ah. Uh, now copy this one go down what is your class name EMP. what is your class name EMP. 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 so here class name construct name should be same and it will not return anything even wide also okay clear even wide also now end with the parenthesis so here comes either any arguments possible here no. No, sir. no no this is default constructor this is called what Default constructor. default constructor. So default constructor nothing but the constructor without, without arguments. Arguments. Now this purpose is to initialize default values to your class instance variables. variables. So here employee number and string e name. So here these are the instance variables to initialize default variables. We will use default constructor suppose your program as of now you were in the in this program default constructor is available or not available default constructor is available or not available it is available yes suppose any constructor is available then any constructor parameterized const parameterized yes. constructor no, no, no. My question is, suppose your program contain one constructor, at least one constructor, then compiler will provide anything? No. 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 So, yeah. Now, next one is parameter constructor. So here, employee number, 
string e name so now what are the these two are the instance variables so instance variables are defined inside the class and outside the method instance variables are also called as object level variables suppose developer forget to initialize instance variables then default values get initialized to in class instance variables by using default constructor and memory get allocated for instance variables at the time of object creation so instance variables are stored in the heap area and instance variables carry the data from object to object now observe line this highlighted line these are called local variables generally local variables are defined inside the method or inside the constructor or inside the block so local variable scope is within the class only within the method only or within the method or within the constructor only local variables must be initialized before usage and local variables memory allocated at the time of your method get started execution so local variables are stored where stack in this case local variables and instance variables having same name we will differentiate local variables and instance variables by using this keyword this dot en property name represents your instance variable clear this dot e name equal to e name that's it so observe here right side this is the local variable local variable value is initialized with instance variable this dot en represents this instance variable this dot e name represents this instance variable that's it so now here your class contain parameter constructor and default constructor that's it now go to here just i will write one simply one method which is responsible to display some output system dot out dot print ln that's it in the main method observe here i will write public static wide main public static wide main so i understand guys today my system is very uh, lagging that's why just i typing here okay now so when this constructor get executed this is the default constructor this is parameter constructor so can we call the parameter constructor or default constructor guys can we call as a developer can we call constructor no huh no constructor no. get executed automatically at the time of object <laughs> now here in this case which constructor get executed which constructor get executed default 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 super now now which constructor get executed parameter we will get parameter error why because it is no constructor because, uh, right? yeah. yeah now Two argument constructor. This constructor get executed and initialize D N Y equal to hundred, E name equal to A, and then call E dot display method. Now this this is called caller. This is method definition. Whenever we will call like this, JVM goes to your employee class and verify is there any display method available. Then if display method is available, then display method logic get executed. That's it. So any questions up to this constructor? So clear, guys? Yes, sir. Clear. Yes. yes. Any questions? Now here inside the encapsulation, we will use parameterized constructor to initialize your instance variables. That's it. Apart from that, nothing is there. Now customer number, string, C name. and go this dot c name equal to c name that's it now here we will use parameter constructor to initialize your class instance variables that's it okay now here we will use one method to display this thing that's it now go to main method here you are initializing the values by using some parameter constructor that's it any questions any questions 
so clear guys where encapsulation clear i know little bit confused is there why because there is no practical why because my system gets struck that's why please after here my system still striking that's why just i type the notes uh, manually so can i go next inheritance inheritance are still you have any questions please go ahead and ask i will explain <laughs> 